What is up, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about client-side errors, how to solve them, how to, uh, and how to avoid having these errors. So we're starting off with the test script. Uh, that we have the adder, perfect. It spawns in, perfect, right? Fantastic. Now, say we had previous errors in here, which we're just going to add some mishaps here. So instead of lay, uh, well. We're gonna mess up some natives and just show you what it says. So we'll use uh, these, these, and we'll just add a bunch of random randomness to it, basically. And uh, basically just mess it up completely. Um, so if you ever have a register command, and this is actually named a different trigger event, first things first, uh, we're gonna restart the script here. And in your F8 menu, you're not going to see anything. If you do the same car command, uh, actually nothing is going to pop up here. And that's basically just because there could be a command in here that's called this. Uh, but if you just looked in your script, and this is all for this script, you could you could basically see trigger event. And if you highlighted this like this, it would highlight other things. Uh, you just don't have that event. So makes perfect sense. So we're going to restart this now no errors as we can see and when we do car adder we're going to open up here now these are where you're going to get your errors uh we're going to actually open the log so you guys can probably see this a little bit better we scroll is it scroll up where does it show yes right here so oh perfect we could even zoom in so we can see here a uh, script error client side main lua 8. so on client and on server, we're, we're talking about client, so I'm only going to be talking about client. Client side, main Lua 8, attempted to call this uh, nil value of global this. So basically, right off of this, it tells you that this is not a real thing. Uh, which it isn't. If you just double checked after you get this error, you could simply see this is not the correct native, and you'll remove this. Now, say we save this, restart the script. Uh, we're going to clear this so you guys can see brand new errors that pop in. Now we're going to do the same exact command, except we get something completely different. Uh, or, well, different, but the same. Once again, main Lua 9. Main Lua 9, this letter, and guess what? There's an extra T in this. So we replace that. Clear this one more time. Car adder. And now, uh, same thing with hash key. Uh... And you basically can just keep keep on doing this until you have something that's a little different. Attempt to has model T loaded. Once again, same exact thing. Now, this is where we get to a different point. Uh, we do car adder, it is gonna spawn it. However, let us change. Yeah. Let us change. Let us change this. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah. So Here's what we're going to do. If you have an error that you can't really solve, it would most likely happen these loops. If you have a loop like this and don't have a citizen wait, by the way, it's going to crash your game. So make sure if you always, if you have a loop with a while loop, always have a citizen wait in there with zero or one. Um, so let's do something where, say let's just completely fuck something up here. Say we have, say we name it local hash vehicle. Okay, and this is how I solve all my issues. Wow, there's nothing in anything. It gives you no idea if there's actually an error. So what do we do? Um, I go I go uh, by statement by statement. So we have an if here, and then we have a end here. So how I'm passing this through is I will do print, which is a basic thing, and I will call for this. And I basically copy and 
paste this and then I will you sometimes I add dots and uh, some text here with one uh, you could do the same thing with uh, like this you could change this to two just so you know where it's uh, ending up or not going or I guess we could use this for this because this would make more sense so print that out and we could actually do it in the F8 menu but I'm not going to so calls back this uh, that's because it has not gotten it yet so we'll call it after here change this change this to two and let's see let's see what happens car adder and guess what it gives you the same same exact thing global hash vehicle why because that's not an actual thing right here's the actual thing so it basically tells you that hey your local your local's wrong so change this if we were to change this uh change this we're not going to change the create vehicle yet because that's going to bug out one more time for us but to see that uh it's doing something you can see we got the print right here and let me clear this one more time and then I can do car adder right in here. And you see, we have the print. We have the print for the vehicle. Um, my bad, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be three dots here. And let me clear this. Oh, my bad. So yes, there's a phasing error and I believe you actually have to add space in here to actually make it different Let's see clear and car adder why is that not going now this is awkward okay so we'll do car adder yeah there we go and then it does the space one so you can see it comes in here so it is getting passed through and you could do this for almost every every single local or even if you have a question on what like the model is right here so as you can see we're requesting this hash this hash vehicle obviously uh let me just change this to hash vehicle as well just make it easy um so say for an example you want to know where your player was you could do the same thing with here you could just print and you could use uh your locals just like this as well which uh, sometimes will help with bugs because you might not be getting the right chords off your player. And just like that, it tells me the chords and it tells me what heading I was looking at. And uh, that's how you basically solve these uh, smaller errors in your client side script. Uh, just add a bunch of prints. Uh, make sure you delete your prints at the end of the code once you figure it out. Uh, but these uh these prints can give you more information that you might not have known on where stuff is going for an example uh let's let's scroll back just a little bit here uh we had this so it the is model loaded this wasn't actually loading so which is why we never got this here which is why we never got this second one so you can see that something was up that the model wasn't loading uh and that's actually because uh we're requesting a different variant of it so now for an example this is the last one we're going to actually do if we do car adder as you can see now it's printing out both of them and that just means we got past this while loop so guys if you have any questions make sure you hop in the discord uh plenty of people to help you out including me uh i re ask new video ideas what you guys want to see this was one of them for an example and uh server side going to be coming out very soon this was a little more in depth uh even though it was a smaller error i could show you this as well it's just going to crash my game if i don't have a loop here uh so let's just do this and car my bad not a while loop but if uh say we have a citizen I'll show you a loop that will crash. Citizen dot create. Um, 
So citizen.create thread, and then you have a and a while true do um, did I break it? Your while. God. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know the fucking correct uh, symbol. My bad, boys. Uh, <laughs> bear with me. But if you did something like this, uh, while true do, and then you don't have a wait, it's going to crash your game like it <laughs> it did mine. So that's going to be the end of it. If you guys have any questions, I was a little slow on that last one. My bad. Bear with me. Terrible. But uh, have any questions, hop in the Discord. I'll be answering them anytime. Thanks for watching.